Hello again, this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard doing a series of black and white paintings which require glasses and where did I put them? There they are! Where did I put them down? And they're on my face again and I really want to do black a black background instead of just a white one you see that thing right now that does not belong but um, I want to continue in this way before I move on to that way this is my OXO omelet turning spatula, the one that's dry and clean-ish. And these are the things that I'm pulling out that are probably paint that have dried into the threads of my bottles and become loose. This is available on my Amazon link. It is possibly the world's greatest paint spreading tool. So if you're doing paint pouring, this is the one tool I would say is your best tool. Also, it makes great swipes. If you're ever just really ready to do some wild abstract art, the swiping capacity. Whoop, I wasted some paint. Shoot. But it does remind me that I have little tiny swipe rags over there. And I'm going to drop one of them right in the bucket on that spatula also. Oh, well, that's interesting. Oh, well. <laughs> I guess we're not going to worry too much about that right now. It is what it is basically a background for sliding other paint on it anyway. Should have figured there was some extra paint around here somewhere. Mostly I'm interested in not having lumps in my canvas tomorrow, but I don't think I mind a little striation in my background, especially since we're doing black and white anyway. And my idea is to go ahead and do what I just did with my shovel. I mean, this time actually start about here. I think I better stop that and put it in the bucket right now before it gets any worse. She said and still didn't do it. There we go. Now there's two in a bucket. All right, so I have some black paint in my container. I also have some black paint with a little bit of white paint over here on my edge catcher. And since I don't like you wasting paint, I'm going to go ahead and try and do what I failed to do last time and release all that paint onto the canvas that will come out of that shovel. Wow, there's more there than I thought there was. All the way to the end. And do it again. Maybe a lot less evenly and a lot more randomly. I wanted to put way less paint on and that would be a good plan because if I put way less paint on, I can always add more, but taking it away is not an option, not really. Not unless you're super paint pouring person, which I have been from time to time, but not very often, and it's not a plan I want to embrace. So I've got around here somewhere, hopefully, another Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula, also available on my Amazon link below the video. I don't know why I'm worried about that, because I can definitely just squeeze paint right onto the canvas. But I thought it would be good to try, for a start, just to use up what we've got and play with the tools I have and see what happens from that point. So I am going to do what I thought I was going to do and just use up as much paint as I can get out of here. And I can just do whatever I want wherever I want. And it could just be an abstract expressionist artwork and be pretty cool. I'm pretty sure. And uh, if I hate it, I can add gold. Oh, I can hear somebody having a sneezing attack. We got some terrible, terrible allergies right now. Pollen is awful. So I've got all kinds of paint scattered all over the place here that I can use. Wow, there's insight. Um, Oh, I've got some paint from two paintings ago here, too. I hope that's not a bad thing. A little gray never hurt anything. All right, so I'm going to start out by using my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula in a couple places. And maybe just scraping it off on the edge or cleaning it off with my finger and using it on the edge. I haven't done anything to my end pieces doesn't matter if my edge catcher is dirty or not. I don't even know if I can flow paint at this point, but I'm willing to try. It's slow. 
It's slow to say the least. So I think what I'm going to do is put some Anita's metallic white in there because I can and because I like black and white and I'm pretty pretty sure black and white can do no wrong for me. Um, and that's going to join the other damp paint that's on that edge catcher already. And then I'm just going to move. I'm going to just hold the painting right above it and dip that end in. <laughs> what did I get? I got paint. Go figure. Paint. Just what I wanted. Now I can go the other way. No, I can't. <laughs> but I can add some more paint if I want to. She said hoping she could. <laughs> I'm still planning on all kinds of things. Let's see. Let's just do... Let's just have some fun. Playing in paint. I recommend fun. Everyone should have fun. I think it's time to loop it. I think it's time for a clean one. Which won't be clean for very long, honestly. Alright, so I've gone as far as I want to go with the chain. No, I haven't. I lie. <laughs> so bad. But, I have started. So I'm going to grab a basting brush before I ruin all kinds of cool stuff that's already here. And then I'm going to take it, move it sideways. Because sideways seems to be a good idea. And then, I can move that black paint, and since we're at it, I'm just going to use my bamboo skewer to make some adjustments. And I really just want to add some gold in here because it's cool and all, but it looks a lot too much like the last one. And I kind of think gold would be neat. But then you know I always think that anyway. But I kind of like those big leafy shapes the black is making. The more the merrier. Let's add some texture. Yeah, we got some neat leaf shapes there. For sure. And I don't want to use any more basting brush, and I think I might be done with chain. So the decision is, do I add the gold like I was talking about? And what would happen if I do that? Never know until you try. I'm going to have to do something to it, I can tell you now. Not sure what something is. Let's find a clean piece of chain. I have an entire dish of them. I use my uh, my juice strainer that never worked because I'm like the world's worst, whatever that thing is that Art by Fars does so beautifully. I'm gonna have to let that paint relax right off of there.
I don't think this is going to be anything monumental, but you can never tell. Oh, I've got some drippage. Let's just use that up there. It looks like I have a hair or something that does not belong. I need to find some of my bright gold again. I can see that there's still something on that. So that's not bad. I haven't torched. I do see that little puddle there that I don't think needs to be there. I kind of like it's just straight gold there. Maybe I'll leave it and go back to skewering. And some minor integrations. Looks like the gold will sink away anyway. But maybe just a little, huh? I think so. Maybe a little more. <laughs> can't trust me. Yes, I need a little more over there. Yep, that's not bothering me a bit. sure. I could use a little gold in the center there. I don't know if it'll stay or not, but I kind of like it. <laughs> Let's grab a little bit more, steal a little bit more. I hope it stays. I see that thing. So when you don't complete the lines, it's okay, because it's just as if the light is catching whatever it is. And uh, I think we're pretty well done messing with this, and I still didn't find my crib sheet. So I'll tell you, if you shop my Amazon link, you help me out, and you will find really cool tools there and art supplies at no added cost to you. And you will also find my book called Because I Can. Because I Can. And the Princeton Artful Catalyst Spatulas that I love, and the Oxo Omelet Turning Spatulas with the orange handle which I would hate to have to live without. Yes, I think I saw a naked spot. I'm not going to overdo this one because uh, I wanted a lot more white negative space. But that being said, and the timer not having gone off yet, and me having a little bit of paint over here, I think I would like to be able to... Sure, I'm almost done. You can let the dogs out. So now I have something on my edge, all the way up, and I'm just going to dip the front of that spatula in. And tap the edge of it to make, uh, to make some interesting texture, and maybe even go over the side, which I can touch up later, <laughs> because it's time to go now. I think. Yeah, pretty close. So I love you guys. There's over 86,000 of you. Probably going on 87,000 of you. Probably moving along, I hope. And uh, thank you for all the contributions that have kept me painting in the past. I really appreciate them. If you want to contribute again to the studio or for your first time, you look for the PayPal or Patreon link underneath Show More, underneath the video, or for a YouTube, excuse me, on my YouTube channel header, there's uh, there's icons for PayPal and for Patreon. 
and should you happen to do that, you will be included in whichever contest is going that particular month, and there is always a contest going, even though at this exact moment, if you look at the end screen, you'll see last month's contest, but um, maybe by the time you get to see this video, uh, I'm going to bet that there'll be another one posted. That is just all together coming out so fast. But it's okay, because I like it. And hopefully there's so much of it that it won't sink. Oh look, and we're linking up with something that was already there and ready to... That was a meant to be thing. Cool. I like it. Very cool. Alright, so this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio saying please give me a thumbs up and please watch more videos. Both of those things help the YouTube algorithm know that you'd like to have help me succeed and have more videos put in more places where more people could find them. And that's that's working for quite a few people. And thank you all for subscribing, by the way. And I said thank you for the contributions, but thank you for the great comments you leave me. You lift my spirits and enhance my morale every day. And I do sell my artwork. If you have an inquiry, please just make it through the YouTube channel communications area, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. When I get a minute, <laughs> make take a breath. Um, I have Facebook albums uh, on Expressionist Art Studio fans and collectors. You may have to join if you want to see them, but uh, they're there. And uh, I have another group called Facebook Express. Excuse me, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group, where there are a fair number of people who are learning how. I don't. See what is that? Is that a hair? <laughs> it looks like something that does not belong. And I would like to camouflage it. Alright, whatever it was, it's gone now. Maybe a bug crawled through there, I don't know. So, uh, I asked for a thumbs up. Thank you very much for all you who have helped me so far by giving me a thumbs up. And the rest of you who binge watch my videos, I love you more than life itself. And I wanted to say, take care. I love you guys. And uh, what else? There's Pinterest and Instagram underneath the video. It all becomes, it all blends after a while. I see there's something there that just doesn't look great to me. So it's going to get really... Okay then. How to fix a mistake like that. <laughs> 101. Darn. Blend it in. Make it disappear. You can do it if I can do it. And I will do it. Just a little tap here, and a little tap there. A little black here, and a little black there with some black. Okay, I don't need much more of that. I'm gonna get a little bit of that. Put a little white in there. Make sure my skewer is clean. I just made another mark. All right, we're almost almost back. Almost back to square one. Got a little spiral in there. Got a little few dots in there. That looks like a heart now. That's cool. I want some white right there, and I'm good to go. All right, disaster averted, mistake pretty well gone. There might be a couple more little things I want to fix, but I'll do that after you're gone. I've told you everything I need to tell you, and I've fixed my mistake. Don't drop your skewer in your artwork. It's not a good thing. But you really can't see it very well anymore, so I'm happy that I fixed it. All right, you guys, I'll see you soon. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard going, phew, I'm glad I could fix that. And I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Watch some videos. Give me a thumbs up. Thank you. Love you. Bye.